said, the tired legs trying to hold yourself up. Now you got the wind trying to blow you off. We're getting closer. That's what I wanted. I wanted to go into the back country and hunt tar on their own ground. Pretty good storm front coming in, bad weather. That was the beginning of the most violent storm I have ever experienced in my life. That is the prettiest tar I think I've ever seen. I know it is. When I say this is the most difficult, dangerous, physically demanding hunt I've ever done to date, it was. It's a lot steeper once you get on here than it looks. I mean, these are avalanche chutes that are on an 80 to 90% grade, and we were traversing these straight up. They live up really high, four, five, 6,000 feet, 7,000 feet. Accessing their habitat from the valley floors can be quite difficult at times. You talk about put the fear of God into you. That hunt did. Let's hit up that big rock. You knew that this was going to be the last hunt for tar in New Zealand. About 500 yards is quite a way way up there, but we ain't going to get any closer to him. I didn't want to shoot over the back of this tar. Tradition. Adventure. This is home to the outdoorsman. This is what Remington is all about. We're right here at this moment. These moments are generations in the making. I get just as much enjoyment out of this guiding a hunt as I do actually hunting myself. One of my favorite places to come and hunt ducks and geese is down in this part of the world. We're living the dream this morning, fellas. This is our heritage. And this is your opportunity to hunt with the best. Welcome to Remington Country.